good evening. I am here. It has been uh, a couple days since my last stream. Um, I wasn't here Friday and Saturday, and then last night and Thursday I was kind of doing other stuff. I was really tired, and I had other stuff going on. I uh, decided to rework a couple of things for the stream schedule. So, uh, instead of Octo Expansion getting finished, uh, we're just moving right into Live Alive. Oops, and the opening does not last very long this time. Uh, so hey, Live Alive, this game, uh, got announced earlier this year. It's a remake of a game that I've already streamed, which is awesome. Um, let me get this menu up. So it's worth noting the SNES version, the opening cutscene for this is like six minutes long. So I thought I had a bit more time. Uh, but let me go here real quick. Uh, text display speed fast. Keep all this on. So there was a demo for this. I did not... Uh, I did download it and I did play some of it, but I didn't stream any of it. I'm not going to bother carrying the save data over. In fact, I already deleted it, so there's nothing to carry over. Um, so yeah, this will be like a fresh start for it. Uh, I think this, this looks all good. Language settings, everything to English. Kind of keeping the default there is fine. It's really loud on 10. <laughs> Speaking of, though, I did um I did also get uh, Sonic Origins collection this past weekend because the deluxe edition was on sale for 35 bucks, which is less than the standard edition costs. I don't know why it, why they discounted it below the standard edition, but they did. Um, and they didn't discount the standard edition. That game's volume is very low. I had to go crank my Switch up to max anytime I want to play that. But uh, I'll... I'll talk about that another time. There's actually bits of that that I want to stream. Uh, hopefully the game gets a patch of some sort. But yeah, Live Alive. Uh, I streamed the SNES version of this back in 2017. It was like one of the f one of my first year streams. It was within the first six months of me streaming. I had just finished Owlboy. And I think at the time I was already working my job at the sushi bar. I can't remember. I, I remember that being around that time. I think it was during Owlboy. So, yeah, I was probably there when I was streaming this. And, uh, this game was interesting. I had wanted to experience it. It was fun to play this with a fan translation. And, um... Oh, parts of it didn't age too well, but it was, it was very fun. And then they announced this remake earlier this year. I freaked out when it got announced. I made a very excited... Excited tweet about the game being re re uh, re uh, remade. If you, if you miss that, yeah, there we go. One. Loiv Loivi, live alive remake. Yeah, I was uh, I was quite excited when this got announced, and now it's finally here after about six months waiting. Yes, just about six months, a little over. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna play it. <laughs> That's all there really is to say. I've heard this remake doesn't really fix a lot of the a lot of the more obscure stuff from the first game, so I'm either gonna have to memorize it or I'm gonna have to look it up again, probably. But yeah, it's finally here, so I'm gonna stream this probably three times this week, and I'm gonna do an Octo expansion stream as well. So hopefully, ever stream every day between now and Thursday. If I have to lose one of them, it'll probably be a lot another stream of this, and I'll just do a. Uh, an Octo Expansion stream instead, or with it. That's the plan is to do one regardless. Um, so, if you haven't seen this game, it's split into several different stories, which are all fairly disconnected from each other. And in fact, there's very little connecting them together until you've beaten all of them, uh, without spoiling too much. Um, when I did this game initially on the Super Nintendo, um... I started with the present day, and then I kind of just went back and forth between a bunch of other scenarios until I cleared them. I think what I want to do this time is actually do them in chronological order. So, I'm going to start with Prehistory, then I'm going to move on to Imperial China, then Twilight of Edo Japan, then uh, Wild West, present day, near future, distant future. So we're going to start with Pogo and end with Cube. Um, it there's kind of a it's it's I mean it's it's pretty easy to tell what most what order most of these take place in. It's kinda of hard with Wild West 
Imperial China and Edo Japan, just because the years for them are not defined, and it is very well possible that all three of them could take place at the exact same time, technically. But I think it's, um, I think given the presentation, it's pretty obvious Imperial China is first. Um, Edo Japan is probably next, and Wild West is probably last. Just given the general time frames that each of those eras take place in. Edo Japan and, and Wild West actually overlap pretty hard. I believe Edo Japan ends in the 1860s, whereas the Wild West started in the 1860s. But yeah, it's not, it's not really worth going into the whole thing there. I'm just going to be doing them in, in chronological order based on how I perceive those scenarios to be. Um, and yeah, it's funny because they actually don't list the characters in chronological order. They just kind of have them spread out in an, in an appealing away, I guess. I don't know. It, it's kind of hard to tell, really. It's kind of hard to tell why they spread it. I do know one thing. Uh, I looked at the Super Nintendo menu for this, and it's actually a different order in that um, I believe Cube actually has Masaru, who's the present-day guy, and Sundown Kid, who's the Wild West guy, next to him. So they did it in a, they did it in a different order this time around, but it's still not really in chronological order. <laughs> Also, be nice to play this game with a quick save function and an auto save. Uh, let's see. I already messed with those. I already messed with the graphics settings. Volume is fine. Tutorials. We're not going to bother with that. Gameplay tips. Okay. So there's nothing new there. Anyway, this game's interesting. Um, there's a lot of connective tissue between each each mode, as you'll soon see. So if you haven't seen this before, uh, just just watch. Don't necessarily only watch one part, watch two, and you'll see that they, and compare and contrast them. You know, do your homework. In a forgotten era before kings and kingdoms, a young man comes of age and is given permission by his tribe's stern elder to go forth and hunt, together with his best friend, Gori. Bereft of spoken words, they rely on their senses to survive, in particular, a powerful sense of smell. Guided by their noses, they track game and find shelter, and learn much of the world and its dangers. Play this chapter. <laughs> so there's voice acting. Uh, I've heard some of it. It's pretty good. Some attacks can penetrate. So there's loading screen tips, but most loading screens in this game don't last long enough for you to read them. I, I've, I've already seen that firsthand. We on Gabunga now. So, first impressions, game looks really nice. Obviously, it's the it's the Square's patented HD 2D engine, which they they have their own little symbol for on games now. It's like a little shield with HD 2D and kind of like a curved logo. They really want to get their use out of this engine, and they are. Between this... Uh, between this Octopath uh, triangle strategy and... They're doing Dragon Quest 3 in this engine, and I believe they also teased that Dragon Quest 1 and 2 might also get the same treatment. So I think, uh, I think they're getting their use out of it, and if I had to take a wild guess, I'm thinking the culmination of this engine is going to be with Chrono Trigger. Sure. I think they're going to do a Chrono Trigger HD 2D remake. <laughs> I would say it's honestly probably less expensive. Like I, I assumed it would be less expensive to do to use this engine than to do like a full 3D remake. <laughs> I like the cartoony sound effects. Oh my god, that is like stock. That is like stock car noise. So yeah, I, I assume that once they made this engine, it would be cheap to make games in it, but apparently uh, devs who work for Square Enix say this engine is, like, super expensive to use, apparently. So, uh, it's I'm guessing that's why they want to get their money's worth out of it, and why they're making so many games in that style, rather than make more Trials of Mana-esque HD 3D games. Not even HD 3D, just 3D, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's where we currently are, and despite 
Dragon Quest's attempts, this is my first HD 2D game. <laughs> hey, Ephraim, uh, you missed nothing. You missed, um, you missed the opening cutscene of this chapter, which you just saw the end of. Uh, essentially, some cavemen yelled about this girl. The girl escaped from the cave, and now we have a bunch of people going after her. So, doing this in chronological order works for me because I'll be getting two of the more frustrating scenarios out of the way pretty early with a relaxed period in between them. Because this scenario, if I rem if I remember my original playthrough of this on my stream, which there's no annotations anymore, so the warning is gone, I got really annoyed with this scenario. I think I was getting very, very salty while I was playing it. So getting it out of the way first is probably for the best. That and the uh, Edo Japan one, which is super, super ob ob obtuse and weird to go through. That'll be the third scenario I do. So I'll be doing the Imperial China in between them, which will be a nice palate cleanser, because that one's very easy in comparison. I, From what I've seen, the general difficulty of this game is either easier or about the same as the original. <laughs> Prehistory, the first. This will also be interesting, because there's no real dialogue here, so hearing voice actors just grunt and, and groan is going to be pretty cool, because if they could sell it, then they've done a really good job. So, for some reason, this remake allows you to make names obscenely long, and they will write that whole 24-character name out if you type that long, but I'm going to keep all the names default, just like I did in the original game. There's no point in changing names. Like, when a character... Here's, a, here's the thing. Here's how I feel about naming characters in RPGs. If they already have an established name then why do they let you... Ch like, then I see no reason to change them at all. If it's like, enter your name and it's a, just a blank name, then yeah, go ahead. Persona 5, Persona... Well, Persona in general, but... Oh, either lead to a bug or some... Ah, creative dialogue. <laughs> Radar located in the bottom right corner of your screen can be used to identify unexplored areas and guide you to your current objective. Route to unexplored areas gray, explored is bl blue, current objective is orange... And then when there's a flag, that means the current objective is in that spot. So this helps a lot, because it'll stop me from activating cutscenes that I don't want to get too quickly. Radar can be toggled off via display. If you wish to quit the current chapter and play a different one, access settings via the main menu and select Return to Chapter to do so. If you select the chapter you've previously played, your play will resume from your last save. So, I don't know if the original game had this feature, but the remake does. People are praising it. I don't think you should be playing the game like that at all. Do do not start a chapter and leave it, because these chapters aren't long. And there's no gates in one chapter that'll stop you from do, finishing another chapter. I recommend just experiencing the entire game, like in each chapter in one go, unless it's really like annoying you and you need to take a break. If your character is silent, it makes sense to name them. True, but all the characters in this game have preset names, and also, the characters aren't actually... The only reason the characters are silent in this chapter is because no character has dialogue. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but uh, the whole point is that they're cavemen and they don't have spoken language yet. Okay, level one, level four, prehistory, safe cave. Bone is bone. What's that one of two down there? Toggle info. Oh, okay. Damage resistance is death, I guess. Inventory. No bone jokes allowed, no. So if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there's EXP in this chapter, normally. I kind of forget how it works. Attack, hit one bad with axe. Damage, low. Pow kick, kick one bad with foot. Low, hits two. Oh my god, look at all this. Innate properties. Properties in this ring are always possessed by a given character. It affects almost all damage dealt, almost all damage taken. It affects damage dealt by physical, it affects damage dealt by attacks utilizing one's body and damage taken from physical attacks. Affects damage dealt by special attacks, false damage taken by... Okay, affects, affects probability of hitting and evasion. 
Damage tiles, poison, fire, lightning, water. Detrimental statuses, petrification, sleep, intoxication, snare, restraint, poison, paralysis. Intoxication, I don't know if that comes up in this chapter. It doesn't mean, like, dizzy, like that symbol would like to make you think. It straight up means you're drunk. It is an actual, it is an actual status ailment. Void, demonic is what we resist. Okay, martial, thrusting, blunt slashing. A lot of stuff. Formation. Uh, so you get to choose... When, when I get into battle, you'll see how this works. But you essentially get to choose a diamond formation for how your characters are laid out. I think this is just the seven settings menu. Yep. And then you could also quick save by pressing start. Perfect. So anyway, I played through the... the blah, 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 blah. I played through the, f the future period in the demo without actually reading the dialogue. I just sped through it all. And, um... Yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty slick. Boots up 65 million BC from Chrono Trigger. Hey, Celine. I mean, this is pro pro pretty much the same time period. Earlier than that, even. You obtained a stick. Stick. Stick is stick. Okay, low that lowers my attack. Uh, I don't think Goro can equip anything. Is that actually his name? I can't see it anywhere. Was it Chrome in the future? It is Chrome in the future. Well, the character is Chrome in the future. He's a Chrome Sphere named Cube. Okay, any other buttons do anything uh, before I dive into this? Just want to double check everything. Okay. Uh, and there's no run either. Running is auto. Items can be used in battle to achieve. Couldn't read that. Oga. A sphere named Cube, yep. That's gonna be the last chapter I do, so that's gonna be quite a ways away from here. And yeah, like I said, this game loads very quickly, so I have no idea why they decided to do loading screen tips. Because you can never read them. You're better off just going in the menu and reading them manually. I think I remember the, the joke in this room. Hold on. Yeah. Hard Rock Cafe. Another stick. That's how untouched containers glitter, yeah. A pelt. So the this works a little differently. Oh, actually no, you can see it here. Okay, never mind. Oh, but you can't equip it from here. Okay, so it is a little a little different from the original. Hurl a rocket enemy with all your might. Rock is big and hurt when throw. I, I believe more people come in as you talk to oh no. Uh -huh. I don't remember this from the other game, from the first game. If I'm not mistaken, in the first game, there was this room just had a bunch of cavemen that would keep coming in the more you talk to them. Is it to choose less? Yeah, I think I have to choose what has less in it. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think this was in the original version. I think the way this version worked was that you talked to that guy enough and more people would... Wait, what? The monkey. 
I think I saw him going the right one. Okay, cool. Oh, Beast Horn, Beast Fang, Pelt, Set of Dried Skins, Hard Rock. Interesting, I wonder if I can do that more than once. Oh, he points at the one that he, he wants you to find, okay, I see. Alright, and you can do that as well. So during cutscenes, you could either auto advance by pressing ZL, or you could skip it completely by pressing ZR. <laughs> All right, you just get items for that. These do come in handy, so getting more of these is, is useful. I don't have any more canned uh, drink on hand. We weren't able to get uh, Arnold Palmer last week, so instead I have, uh, I just have water right now. There's nothing in my mini fridge. Which is fine. I mean, I should be drinking more water anyway. There might be something in one of the fires, okay? Bone. Stick. Beast horn. Horn is sharp. Oh, there's a pelt for him. Nice. Pelt is furry. Horn is sharp. Skin is dry and tough. Fang is sharp. That symbol mean? What symbol mean? Hey, I can't talk to you. Of course. No, when you hear fart noise, you inevitably have to use the bathroom. Be prepared for a lot of that this chapter, <laughs> unfortunately. Mm. What's that cracking noise? It's like Wario when you taunt and smash and he, his jaw cracks when he closes it. Lost so much tra track time playing as Vampire Stars right after the upgrade after 20 minutes into a run starts sounding like a paddle boat because you're hitting so many enemies so frequently. <laughs> It does look like a fun little game. No touching the meat. Please, ma'am, no meat touching. Strong, easy. 
So the radar's pretty helpful because the gray just straight up tells you you haven't been in here yet. And then if it's blue, you can go in there, but you don't have to. And if it's orange, it's leading you towards uh, towards the uh, towards the next objective, which is nice. Stick, rock, hammer. By combining two different items, you can create new, potentially useful ones. Experiment with different combinations and see what happens. Yeah, this is very, uh, very Chrono Trigger. Stick. Rock. Strong axe. Okay, cool. Axe and something else. So if we take a bone... And a st No, what if we take a beast fang and a stick? <laughs> fang club? It's a bit slow with how they're doing this, because you have to... Look at this. Physical attack up to 33. It's pretty good. This, this raises attack higher, but doesn't raise physical attack. So there is a difference here. That being said, I don't think Pogo gets anything that's not... That's special, so... And none of this can be equipped by, by him. So I'm thinking the strong axe is probably better. They both have the same... Stick and fangs make club for bash. Stick and rock make axe for chop. It actually recommends the fang club, though. Attack equals weapon power, but physical attack equals your strength score. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, it recommends the Fang Club, so I'll keep that equipped. I don't know, because Gory's physical... Oh, it's Gory. I thought it was Goro. Gory's physical attack is 37, but his attack is 0. Pogo's attack is 18, but his physical attack is 23. So I'm not sure... Who's got the better stats here? Maybe yeah, because Gory is unarmed. Yeah, probably. Elder. There's no walking in this game, so I'll run Ikum Bokum, yep. I need to, uh, I still need to play Banjo-Kazooie. It's on the Switch Online. I don't have, I haven't played it yet. Obtained a stick. That, you know what, that might be a good choice for an August game, after I finish Mega Man Star Force, because that's when Banjo-Kazooie... Well, actually, no, Banjo-Kazooie came out on my birthday, I think. It came out on, uh, June 20... Whoa, whoa, computer, please, what are you doing? Banjo Kazooie came out on June 26th. Nope, June 29th, 1998. But I didn't play it until that August, I believe. And I just have memories of like late summer with it. <laughs> alright, alright. Play Banjo Kazooie, and I just don't have the same fondness that others have for it. Maybe fun coincidence. I think a Toho game came out on your birthday. Also back now. Welcome back. Uh, oh, a lot of fun stuff came out on my birthday. Um. I was born 1987. 1997 is when the first Digimon V-Pet came out in Japan. Um, 2014 is when Shovel Knight came out on June 26th. 2015 was when the Marriage Equality Act was signed. Meat. Axe. Meat. Uh, and also Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. His birthday is apparently June 26th as well. Mm 
Marriage of qu no marriage equality. I mean, marriages are quality. They can be. Born at, at the same time as uh, it was a wrestler, the one that the one that was a teacher. Matt Striker? No, it wasn't Matt Striker, was it? Is it Kenny Dykstra? No. Wait, no, that's the way I'm supposed to go. Shit. I think it was Matt Stryker. I think he was the teacher. No. Okay. I like how, um, gory Naruto runs. He just lets his arms hang. Okay, teach us how to smell. Teach us how to sniff butt. There. Smell. Ah. Oh, get ready for Samba, by the way. <laughs> they, skip the, they skip the part where they fight, but... ZR skips ZL auto advance. Oh, okay, so you could pause it. It's on play by default. Pogo has an extraordinary sense of smell that allows him to hunt game and find other things of interest. Press Y to reveal scent clouds in the vicinity. So, I don't remember what exactly it was, but once you get into the story of this chapter, it, um, it gets hard, and I think that's, I don't think they've tweaked the difficulty too much. Anyway, Samba time. Charge gauge. A charge gauge will appear above allies and enemies that are readying actions. Once this gauge has been completely filled, they will execute the action. When controlling allies in battles, you may choose one of several commands. Execute attacks, heal yourself, or use other abilities. Use items, uh, pass your turn. Wait and allow enemy and ally charge gauges to gradually fill. Flee, attempt to f uh, escape from combat. When select, ab selecting abilities and items for use, the area effect will be displayed. Use this guide to ensure your intended targets will be affected. When allies' HP is reduced to zero, they will no longer be able to fight. Restoring any amount of HP will put them back in the action. Be warned that if all allies are incapacitated, the game will end. If an incapacitated ally is damaged, they will be immediately dismissed from the field. Dismissed characters cannot rejoin via healing or any other method. Just for that battle, of course. That's not actually uh, how it works. There's no permadeath in this game. So HP meter, uh, small meter. The nice thing is that their HP meter is present for enemies, too, which wasn't the case in the original. Uh, turning, this does affect certain things. Oh, it actually counts as a move if you turn. The objective of being dogs as far back in time. Uh, poison, this shows detrimental statuses, damage types, and this We've seen this before. So items, we could choose an item to use and choose where we want to use it. Pass, we'll pass, okay. Bang bash, hit one bat with axe, kick one bat with foot. Bang slap, claw one bad with hand, damage medium, scare face, hurt many bad with surprise boo, statuses, uh, blindness, enemy attributes, oh, damage low. Oh, this is interesting. 
That probably takes a long time to charge, though. And again, if enemies aren't in the range to hit, they will not be able to attack. But moving also uses less energy than attacking. Or, sorry, it's... I don't know, moving doesn't actually use energy, it just fills up ener enemies' energy. It's weird. This game's battle system's a little weird. It's, it's like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but isolated. You are victorious. Oh, there is the XP, okay. I thought you got EXP in this chapter by trading items. Meat. A haunch of meat. Butts, yeah. Hard rock. Caribou. No, it's just more feral pups. Oh, this only hits in a square. Okay. Let's do that. Ten target party members, I believe. I guess the thing you should pay attention to is um if they're if the enemy's orange bar fills up, they're gonna attack you. So if you move close to them and it fills up, you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, the key characters also, or, or other characters in the vicinity, will, will give off a scent as well. I don't remember if this is how it worked in the original, or it just starts automatically. Whatever. Oh, the cursor memorizes exactly where it was. And I do believe your positioning does matter somewhat. If you hit an enemy from behind, they're going to take more damage. HP. Wow, what did my nose just do? Did you hear that? I don't like that. I'm wondering I'm wondering if there's more to do right now. I think the way out might be blocked. an actual Trillhorn Doe. <laughs> In the fan translation, it would say, uh, right on when you win a battle. 
Right there. I just muted myself in the middle of saying that. I said I was gonna say right there, right on. Alright, I get it. Time to go back. Or wait. Oh. Bone. Yeah, I, all right. I don't think there's anything else to do here. I think um, I think a path forward opens up later on. Kino from Chrono Trigger, or is he the rival in this game? Or in this, 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 fuck, I can't remember. Kino's the guy that likes Ayla, right? He's sleep. Yes. Again, there's this game has a this game has uneven levels of secrets between chapters. Some chapters have nothing secret in them, and some have like a bunch of secrets. The Edo Japan one in particular is like the worst for that. Smells. They're here. <gasps> oh, nice. They got like remixes of themes. I want to see. Okay, I have plenty of bone. Good. Unga <laughs> bunga.
Oops. that though I can't get back there Okay. Thought I had to poke the, the thing she was in. Meat. I'm gonna have to go back in. Okay. It was a little weird, but thank God for the radar. <laughs> forgetting the mechanics of the game. me love the haunch haunches are good I need a haunch big meat on bone Imagine that uh, it was like this in the original version, and uh, I just don't remember it being this eso uh, I want to say esoteric, which isn't the right word. Obtuse. He exploded. The slapstick is good. <laughs> Wait. 
waketh. She's resistant to, uh, other stuff. Bam, bam, bam. Hit one bad with club many times. Damage low, but four hits. No horn jokes. Kick, kick. Kick one bad with foot. Medium damage. What's she resistant to? Spirit and divine? Okay, interesting. Beru is her name. Why is she in front? No. Don't put her oh, don't put her on the front like front line like that. Jesus. No one will suspect a thing. <gasps> Whoa, what, ju what just happened? Did you see how quickly- oh, I, was, I was pressing the D-pad. Chris, we're already friend request accepted. Sleep. You didn't see anything. Yeah. charming. It is very charming. And again, each chapter is very different, so th this style of storytelling isn't going to last too long. Haha, <laughs> what if we put our straw beds next to each other? Just joking. Unless. So is Live Life sort of a time travel game like Chrono Trigger? Yes and no. Um, one thing you'll see is that these stories are pretty much self-contained. You're not going to be seeing this character show up in the next chapter I do. But there is an overarching thing where which happens later. Grumble, grumble. Big ol' bumble. Mm -hmm. Girl. Oh! <laughs> 
Meat. I feel bad for this monkey. It's kicked around so much. Oh wait, we're not done in there. Okay. We need to uh, get meat. It's really weird though, because the game doesn't point you in that direction. Outside. It's really weird because again the radar isn't updating to pre uh beep 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 beep. If free. Long tusk hag and long tusk sow. Bang, slap. Boom, sis, pow, boom. Gotta haunt you, meat. Oh, mammoth calf! Oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to kill it for food. Poot learned. Oh, hell yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. I keep forgetting capture doesn't uh, capture zoomed in footage. It just captures the whole screen. Let's stink Poot. It's a stench poot. Wait, was that what it was? It was stench poot, yeah. Turn back on many bad and hurt with big poot. 
Charge time short, damage low, penetrating. Oh, this is a special move. It's in a square, too, so that's cool. Can't hit there. Can't hit there, either. Alright, whatever. So again, positioning is super important. And yeah, there's no MP. Uh, all, even special attacks rely entirely on, um... I pass. Okay, it just passes time. Um... Like Pogo, who was passing gas. Um, there's no special move uh, stat instead uh, of points. It's just based on charge time. I, I haven't got another haunch of meat since I got that first one. for you. Oh, I did get another one. Okay. I got two of them. I'm gonna save that because I want to show that clip to someone specific. Wait, do you want more? Okay. I gotta be paying attention to the radar more. <laughs> them with stock cartoon sound effects. Love it. Bunga, it's me, Liquid Caveman. It'd be funny if it was Cam Clark doing the grunts for that character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You know, or if you don't like the grunts and this minimalistic storytelling perspective, um, don't worry, because if, if I play this right, I should hopefully finish this segment by the end of today. Or, at the very least, uh, before next stream, I don't know. Possibly earlier than that. I don't know how I... Segments in this game can be pretty short if you know how to beat them. Sort of no words actually interest you. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Again, this game goes for very varied storytelling. Like, what you compare this to the last segment of the game. Well, not last, but last on the menu. And uh, you'll see there's a very stark difference in, in how the tone and, and storytelling is. Anime Caveman is surprisingly charming. <laughs> Your brain cannot grammar properly. It's alright. It's, it's still... That's why there's voice acting. You don't have to do it yourself. Fighting. You, you pointed him menacingly with me. Two warriors. Oh, there's five of them. Alright. Ooh, this is perfect. Oh, wait. I, I gotta pick first, then select the square. This does not affect allies, I believe. Also, it hit the one down there. I've been bashed. I've been bone bashed. Poison damage. Bam, bam, bam. Kick, kick, kick. Good, actually. Yeah, when I get to the um, when I get to the modern day chapter, which is actually in the second half of the game, because um, there's more pre-modern chapters than there are modern and future. But um, that chapter actually has no overworld at all. It's just a series of boss fights, one after another, with some dialogue in between them. Wait, this worked out in my favor. Yep. I was gonna say the top guy moved away, but the bottom person moved into it. Kick, kick. Sing, heal, learn. Poop throw, learn. Nice. Equal funny. Oh, bitch! Sounds like gameplay variety is high. It is. All the all the modes run off the same battle system. Excuse me, one sec. I'm almost all better finally, but I still got some. Crap, that like gets stuck in my throat. Yeah, all the battle systems work exactly the same, but each chapter has its own gimmicks and and way differences to how um, things play out. And even though the battle system is the same, some chapters utilize it differently. Like the mod, like I said, the modern day chapters all boss fights, but 
the whole point is that your character can learn enemy attacks like a blue mage by getting hit by them. And that's kind of the that's kind of the the secret gimmick. To, not secret, but that's kind of the gimmick of that chapter. Ever play Romancing Saga slash Saga Frontier? And no. Um, my friend Lols is obsessed with it, and I do have um, I do have Romancing Saga two somewhere here. When was the last time I booted that thing up? Whatever. It's so, there. It is right there. I do have Romancing Saga two because I was told that is the best one. Uh, but I have no plans on streaming it at the moment. Only played Saga Frontier. Ah, I've heard good things. Counter Lizard Backrock? Ah. Fly Lizard Fly. Ooh! Poop throw. Hurt many bad with smelly poop. Damage low. Let's do scare face first. Ah, uh, didn't do much. Let's see if I can stamp uh, status ailment here. Oh, turn him away. Oh, it's poison. Nice. Also, yes. Um, more important characters. The more damage they are, the more we're, we're worn out they'll look as they take damage. I don't have any items to heal, unfortunately. Who's throwing? <laughs> That's a little happy dung. Oh, no. That made poison squares, though. Lizard rock back. Oh shit. Well, she's out. I didn't have anything to heal her anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Face kick. How? Not doing too good. mistaken, the monkey is what saved me the first time I played this game as well. Okay, so EXP is limited to whoever survives, but that didn't seem like a lot, so I don't think we have to worry too much. I'll get you next time, Togo! Dare you. You know heterosexuality is banned in this tribe.
elephant cow. Okay. That's what that thing is. It's an elephant cow. Resistant to stench poot. Oh no. Vulnerable to bang bash. Yeah, get on the bang bus, buddy. Trunk lash. Yo! Don't do that, maybe? You eat poop. I think this hits multiple times because it takes up multiple squares. No, it doesn't. amount of HP to all allies within the area and remove all detrimental status effects. You charge a meat. Like I said, very Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Jesus. Turns me around, too. Punch of meat. I think the enemies are still on the field, you just don't know where they are if this so uh, no. I don't think I'm good enough to handle that right now. Also, there's no uh there's no HP loss between battles. It's always you always refill the max. Let me you don't heal between fights. No, you do. You do heal. My health is all back. A secret somewhere, but I don't think that's it. Obtained hmm? <laughs> a dump drum. Drum is bang for her ears. Make strong always when weapon. Can bang and bang and bang and bang. Hmm. 
this theme, uh, you'll be hearing it quite a lot later on in the game. Make one bad go sleep with Wave Club. <laughs> Heal HP all friend with Woo Woo Big Cheer. Heal statuses and also brings ally attributes up. it up, though. <laughs> Dunga good. <laughs> Goring rush, ow. Poison tiles might as well, might as well use element dark. Yeah. <laughs> I think the big issue is that I just don't have the equipment I need right now. Leather strap. Strap is strong and make many things. He's torn. Loin guard. Just like that TV show. Beast Fang raises physical attack. Ooh. Survive this fight. <laughs> yeah, then do good. Doody booby. Yeah. HP all friend woo with big cheer. Oh, and it oh cool, and it gives you attack up. Ground pound. Ah, healing and stat ups. Yep. Ooh, 
gotta be careful of where I'm throwing that. Get KO no, if you're KO'd, you don't get experience. Knock it off, please. Go for it! Actually, wait, do you get experience if you're KO'd? Actually, no. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. No, you're right. Not ejected from a battle. Pokebine learned. I actually didn't read the whole comment before I responded there, like an idiot. Right, well, I'm getting some haunches of meat, which is good. I think the important thing is that I really need to get better equipment for everyone. Starp. You're free to choose the order except for the last story, right? Yes. And in this version, you could also quit and do another story in the middle of, of the existing one, which I do not recommend at all. These 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 are not long enough to, to worth segmenting them out. If you're really frustrated with the segment, then maybe, but you're going to have to do it eventually anyway. One bad with vines and poke. Status is bind. Okay. again. There's a decent amount of damage, too. Oh, it didn't work. Because if there's any overlap of talent between this and the Saga franchise, no one notable. No, I think a lot of the people that worked on this one to work on Chrono Trigger, actually. This was also uh, Yoko Shimomura's first game with Square Enix. And of course she returned to do the uh, soundtrack here as well. Oh, he learned Stink Poot as well. It is Stink Poot there. It was Stench Poot in the menu in, the in, in battle.
face face person. Maybe now isn't the right time for this. This game's director, Takashi Tokita, was also lead designer of Final Fantasy IV, as well as the director of Parasite Eve and Chrono Trigger. Yep. Okay, I think it might be too early for that. That rock has a secret, though. I do remember that. Big lands, many beasts, many dangers. Just pluck the beard hair out. Hmm. So, uh, all three of my Digimon have passed away. Uh, Skull Mammothmon and Blitzgreymon live to be 15 days each. I did clear the Colosseum with both single and tag mode, so I'm satisfied. Uh, on my Pendulum Z2, I had Chromon, and I missed the evolution window. And when you miss the evolution window on a V-Pet, they start trying to die quickly. So I wasn't able to keep it alive more than 8 days. So I'm raising a new Digimon now on the Pendulum Z, and I'll hopefully finish the uh, the adventure mode in that, which I'm at, at area 26 or 28 out of 50, but I can't really go any further until uh, it levels up again. Bam. No chain melon farming in the setting, I imagine. Nah. Wait for it. <laughs> it is truly the pinnacle of humor. It's great, though. It is. It's, it's, it's funny. It's it's very Japanese in presentation. Just doing big big fart cloud jokes. I need to go back and finish Cyber Sleuth's story at some point. I have to start over. Yeah, I started Cyber Sleuth on the Switch back in 2019 or 2020. I've got about five hours in and I gave up. I might stream it someday and just pick up where I left off because I really don't want to redo the first five hours and just be like, yo, just look up the other five, five hours on, on your own. I'll just recap it very quickly. <laughs> They're all having fun. I am getting Digimon Survive this week, though. I don't know if I'm going to play it anytime soon. But uh, I will be getting that. I ordered it. I pre-ordered it from Best Buy. So whenever it gets here, it gets here. So much for that dream. Uh oh. He tooted his last poot. Not Kino. It's Ziku, or whatever his name is. Zaki. There we go. That was close.
here. Sleep. Nothing doing. Alright. Stench poop will be the next thing to reach him. Bind. Pork bun. Clean, clean. Oh man, he is not vulnerable to anything, huh? Ow. Resistance is, uh, I'm guessing that's, was it possession, whatever? Oh, he's no weakness, okay. He's like sheer heart attack. He has no weakness. that again. Thankfully, autosave happens every time you enter a room, so y even if you forget to save, you're never too far off from a restart point. I got far enough into it to have a trio of Platinum Sukumon for easy XP, and then raised a main party consisting of a heavily worked up Sakiamon, even changed to Kibiamon, and then back to Sakiamon, so it had the dark moves, Mega Gargomon, and Imperial Dramon. Nice. What? I've never seen Mega Gargomon. I know what Gargomon looks like. I know Sakiamon, Cubimon. And, uh, I, of course, know Sukumon. Platinum Sukumon. Why would I not know Sukumon? They're the best. Okay, I think this might actually be a pretty good, uh,. Handling this. Sukumon is so abusable in PS1 Digimon World. Those are the days. These are the top next to top forms of the Tamers trio, yeah. I. Um, the Switch version of Cyber Sleuth gives you a bunch of extra NX Digimon. I don't know if those are in the other console versions. Charge some short damage low, penetrating damage low. This could cause more status effects, but it has a charge time to it. It's a pretty decent da amount of damage, too. There's some DLC on PS4, but I don't have Hacker's Memory. Alright, I'm put on Switch. Um... Oh, really? Wow, he's prepared to do that, huh? On Switch, um, it comes with the disc, or the cartridge. It's all, it's all in one cartridge. And it's cheap, too. It's gone down in price, like, over the years. It's ridiculous. Oh, he's asleep. Perfect. Moderate self-heal. Self-care, baby.
I, I love it. Look how like look how worn out he looks. But yeah, I think the plan right now is for me to finish Pendulum Z, uh, do the store, do finish the mode in that, raise another Digimon on it, and then um, I might do a run of my version one, since it has batteries in it, just to just for the fuck of it, and then I'm gonna finish off by doing uh, the X, the X one, and then uh, also I'm almost done with my Vital Bracelet. I've got a couple more stages to clear with Grand Locomon, and then we're uh, we're done. We're done raising uh, raising that one. And then I'm going to take a break from the Vital Bracelet until the B comes out. Which, the B, I think, is going up for pre-order this upcoming weekend. So, might be time to uh, get ready for that. Though I don't think I'm... If I pre-order, I'm not going to get it until, like, October, probably. <laughs> Death by farts. Alright, his loincloth is his lizard. That's the joke with him. That's what I should put on my stream deck. I should put a Tim Allen grunt on there. There was a... It's a compilation of every grunt in Home Improvement. And, uh, I think he... I think it was, like, totaled out to, like, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of the entire show. That's from everyone on the show. Not just him. Uh, can I do the thing now? Fuck! Sabertooth Tiger and Tigress. No, nope, there's just that. Uh, no. 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 They're vulnerable to kicking. Okay, they're easy. We're fine. Poop throw. Stink poop. Oh no, yet yeah. turn back and hurt many with big with big poop. This is oh this is different from uh Pogo's, okay. They're not weak to anything he has, so let's Nice censorship. jump learned. That's the thing, you get abilities pretty quick in, uh, in this game. I believe, uh, also because it isn't that long. I don't know if I could do this now. Oh, I have to go back in the cave. I wasn't done in there. Ooh. 
Must open. Elder Horn's big, great secret. Wait, damn it! Yeah, we're back again. Hey. How do you know what a field like this looks like? <laughs> Mother 3, uh, Chapter 6 vibes. That's what it looks like when I don't wear my glasses. <laughs> Ends up being the monkey. Playful mole and scale back cow. Okay. The mole wearing glasses. Weakness is fire and that. Resistance is punch and light. We jump. Hit one big bad with big jump bash. Yes, scale back cow, apparently. Cool! That was a great move. I lose mobility with that. <laughs> wow, okay. That thing uh, went down like a little... B. Let's give this another shot. Okay, not bad. Damage wise, it's pretty good.
That stinks and moves back. Okay, there's not a lot of experience to be gained here. Meat. Oh no, scale back bulls and cows. Okay, we're not doing this. I prefer to... Oh, wait, there's something there. Hold on. The moles! Gonna fart on them. Very satisfying to pull off. Give me a pick of Mega Gargamon. Nice. All right, one sec. Take a look. That is not what I was expecting, aside from the gun arms. I guess it does have the face, but... speeding this part up, though. Shoots rockets from those faces in the front of the shoulders. Oh. So glad this fight's going well. Oh, 
Holy hell! All right. We're entering, uh, I'm not liking this territory now. This battle's going on way too long. Fucking on. Fucking hell, man. Got nothing for all that, too. That's kind of sucked. Haunch of meat. Nothing. It was a big rock. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this again. There's no penalty for running. And running is almost always guaranteed. Why are we missing? Why are we taking so many whiffs here? And not of my farts. We're getting out of here. I cannot go back down there. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was a big rock. <laughs> now that's comedy. Long tusk scow, sow, big horn. I, I didn't forget what that said. Oh, it does hit all three of them. Okay. Good. And it's stunned. Beautiful. Nice. So that lowers my speed when I use it. I have to keep that in mind. Big horn cow, big horn bull.
I wasn't joking when I said there was farts in this chapter. They are our greatest ally. Ow. Heal move. Yep. Very weak heal move, but whatever. Poison tile. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just worried that would miss. Yum bite learned. Yum bite. Bite one bad and heal HP. Lowers enemies attack and defense. Damage low. I don't really need to use that now, huh?
minor heal. doesn't go far enough. <laughs> Monch. Really? Cool. Nothing I love more than the new move just not working at all. <laughs> And not mine. Let me let me bite. Let me eat. There we go. Nice. And it's a one-to-one -one heal too. Oh nice, and it buffs me. That's cool. Good to know. Yeah, no thanks. No thank you. Let's get out of here. Nope, I don't want it. I don't want it. Hmm? Okay, uh, this is another thing. Is it? How do I make a stone knife? Bone and hard rock. <laughs> now with the stone knife... Hmm? Knife is sharp and hurt when thrown. If I combine that with a leather strap, I get a fury knife. Fury Knife raises regular attack up to, uh, 30. Which I'm assuming is a huge increase. Oh nice, I have another Beast Fang. And another Beast Fang. Can I, wait, if I remove it... Oh, it does just straight up raise my physical attack, nice. Hard stone and then a stone knife. Hmm? I don't have any hard stones. Pelt plus a stone knife. Leather strap. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need another leather strap right now. I don't need another leather strap, period. I think that was the only thing I needed to craft with a leather strap. 
but stone knife with a pelt will make no stone knife with a pelt. Well, no stone knife with the dried skins will make wild heart armor. Made another dump drum. Whoops. Stone knife and dried skins. Actually, wait. Is a hard rock and a hard stone different? Mm, hold on. I don't think they might be. I think that might just be a mistranslation. Utility charm. Okay, yeah, it was the same item. Fertility charm. Small holy for prey and heal HP. Can pray and pray and pray. Lowers my speed. Hmm. He really can't equip anything but pelts, huh? Well, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna bother waste using a spot for that. Like, I'll put a dump drum. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Drum is bang for ears. Make a oh, so I can put a dump drum on. I'm confused. What's the difference? That raises special attack, and here it raises special attack. So I can just put more than one dump drum on. I don't know if the healing HP is worth the speed drop. Given given how this game works, speed seems pretty damn important. Weird equip slots. Yeah, I know. It it's it's head, head, weapon, arm, armor, foot, and then five accessory slots. There's a reason you get so many slots. Uh, as you'll see towards the end of the end of the, uh, end of the game, uh, dried skins and okay. So if I use a bone and a hard rock, and then a dried skins and a stone knife, wild heart armor. Lowers my special defense and speed, but raises my physical defense and regular defense by doubles it. Oh, man. Armor is wild and very strong. Horn for need protect. Very need. Alright, it does recommend putting that on. Can I, can I put the other armor on him? No, you can only equip the pelt, huh? Lowers my special defense so much, but I, you know what? I don't think I need special defense. I don't know how useful that is here. Resist those two, and wild heart armor resists getting bonked as well. Hmm. Also, you can't recommend uh, accessories; only plain armor. I mean, if I really want, nah. Healing's not necessary, so okay, I think I'm pretty decked out right now. This is pre pretty much as good as it gets. Unless I do Beast Fang and Dried Skins, then I might get something slightly better, but I'm not sure. I need to make sure I keep one bone on hand as well, because I need that for a secret. Oh, this is where the beginning of the chapter took place. 
fee monkeys. Fem monkeys. Female monkeys. I'll do those guys. <laughs> Yikes, coup warriors. Uh oh. I don't suppose Sleep Trick will be pretty useful here. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Oh, never mind, these guys are weak as hell. Have the Joestar family technique? Nah, I think uh, we, got this, we got this locked down. Death by sleep. <laughs> You've heard of birth by sleep, I'll get ready for death by sleep. No fuckos. <laughs> I got a bee skin cap, and I want burn spark. I think I pretty much have close to the best equipment now. <laughs> burn spark, burn one bad with quick make fire, Sh charge time short, damage high. I thought he would walk into it. Ooh, it makes a fire tile though, which is neat. Could be useful. Good for grinding because it just these guys go down so easily and you could just grind a bunch of them all at once at all. Love to see it.
Man pretty much just said Yeah, I mean look how much exp I get when I do that that's pretty good Makes me want to watch. Uh, it makes me think about um, what was that anime called? Oh my god, how did I forget? It was just on last year. Oh, uh, Doctor Stone. That's it. Yep. I can't believe that name escaped me. I was like, fuck. What was that anime called? Did they do season three yet, or am I thinking that they only didn't dub season three? Because I know what the next arc is apparently going to be. I think it's. I think it's. I can't remember. No, the Stone Wars already happened. That was season two. They meant Flint, the Time Detective. He said last year. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched Flint, the Time Detective. Pogo looking like he came out of the SNES Online app. Remember, is that a catchy intro? Monkey. I realize I say what other people are saying in chat, and then people think that I'm probably saying that for myself. I don't know what the opening of the Flint the Time Detective is like. Nice. Equipment. Pilfer. Hard rock. Hmm. Like I shouldn't go in there, but... Yeah, no, the, the joke there... Oh, girl. Um, the joke there is that for some reason the Super Nintendo has a ton of, um, of caveman-themed games. And almost all of them are on the SNES Online right now. There's Joe and Mac, Joe and Mac 2, Prehistoric Man. There's a spin-off of Joe and Mac that I think is on there as well. Oh, no. Okay, we're not going in there. Chuck Rock. Are you making that up? I've never heard of Chuck Rock before. Does Evo count? I guess it does. I mean, a technically Chrono Trigger would count too, and Live Alive. Mario World. That technically counts. Dinosaur Land. Chuck was a 16-bit platformer on multiple devices. Ah. Only the Mario World cartoon had cavemen. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's implied. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hell yeah. It'd be amazing if they all had their own stats. Sadly, your party is limited to four people, no matter how many people are actually running with you. Oh no, five cavemen with 40 HP. Don't worry, we get our plot-based uh, save right here. got its release date. I don't know if I talked about that on stream. I have Bayonetta 1 and 2, but I have not finished Bayonetta 1. Okay, I think at this point I could go back and do the secrets finally. Which apparently are worth doing.
No. But um, um, that's what I need on the stream deck. I need I need the comedy sting. I'm making a list of everything I need on my uh, stream deck. I just haven't had time to, to just go through it. Okay, now I think I can mess with this thing. Yeah, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, Me? forty-six, Gungaga. forty-seven, forty-eight. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, nice, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, I was off by one. I had pressed it twice. Weakness is bonk and jump. damage on me now. Shout learned. Oh, it's a light move. I don't think I came up here before. Hard rock. Obtained a pretty flower. Flower for pretty hair. Does give a buff. Can be worn on several parts of the body, I guess. It just gives a buff, straight, straight buff. Oh, hey, you can put the bee skin cap on. Nice. That gives him not much. <laughs> it only gives him three defense, as opposed to the three he had. We can put the pretty flower on. Get some decent special attack and special defense. Nice. I believe over here... Yep, this cave is now open. So by talking to that rock that looks like a face a hundred times, it opens this.
And here we have my second uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey reference of the night. Because there was one... Uh, there was one in Better Call Saul tonight, actually. Very obscure, but it was there. Uh, give it a bone. Okay, yep, I was right. Offer a bone to the slab. You obtained a rock of rocks. Small Strange Rock from Big Strange Rock can use and use and use. Raises special attack by 50. Holy hell. And he can equip and uh he can equip that. Oh my god, do I want 106 special attack on him? This is just a straight buff with no debuff. I want it on I want it on Pogo. It's better to have it on Pogo than any than anyone else. That's probably the worst one, getting rid of the pretty flower. Beast Fang is probably the best. Well dump drum is probably the best because it's just a straight up upgrade. It does mean that uh Gory or What's his name? Is it Gory? I don't remember. Yeah, Gory. Doesn't mean he can't equip uh, anything else, though. Big Shout. Hurt and Scare, all bad with Big Shout. Charge time, medium. Damage, medium. Status is fear. Yeah, we very quickly outclassed him. Moa Cock, Moa Hen. Hato Moa. Big shout. There's at least one Moa in Magic the Gathering. Nice. I believe there's one more secret in this chapter before I can finish it. Oh, the thing closed, okay. second shit. I wasn't paying attention to who I was playing as. I don't think I'm gonna level up again. However, there is something I'm gonna do here. 
Nope. Nope. This has definitely been way less frustrating than the original time I played this game, and I'm wondering if all that frustration was at the end of the chapter. is not it. Mammoth King! Hell yeah. Actually, what is this thing weak to? None, but resist fire, uh, light, and that, that thing. I don't think this played the boss theme in the original, uh, version, but it does now. And yes, this is the boss theme, it is amazing. You're gonna be hearing it again real soon. Nine hundred sixty one health. Oh, God. Tiles can only be one element in status at a time, yes. Okay, cool. Defense down, nice. Come on, anything hit would be nice. Maybe. this, but... Okay. 
its accuracy is down. Absorbed? Oh, fuck off. All right. Wow. We made no progress this whole match. supposed to do this. Well, that's not going to do anything, it's just going to heal him. I made a mistake by doing this. Any real lasting damage. Ugh. Face King Mammoth to be able to withstand its ridiculous statue, maybe somewhere between level 16 and 20. Jesus. Oh my god. You have to do so much shit to do this. Okay. Well, I grossly underestimated how long it would take to do that, and I don't think that I have the patience to, uh... to go through with that. That's a shame. That's a shame because I definitely cannot grind because it takes a long time to grind up that high.
Did my EXP bar move even slightly there? Maybe that's what frustrated me the first time I played the game. But I did the scenario in one go. Well, two streams, but I only did like the first 30 minutes of it, the first stream. So, I don't know. got a lot of experience for that. But, uh, I don't think, um... I think we're going to be seeing uh, me beat that thing on stream, unfortunately. And it sucks, because if I want to beat it, I have to play the whole chapter over again. I feel right now. <laughs> scrim, loud scrim. don't have to prove myself. Just do that again. Nice game name there. What, what was that? What was that game? Yeah! 
Terror Birdcock. That's me. The Terror Birdcock. Hurt many bad with bang chest and big hearts. Lowers my attack. Charge time short, damage low, but hits five times. This does have a pretty decent area of effect as well. Didn't actually lower his attack. Also, I just realized Big Shout hits every square. That's really good. That's not his best move. It is absolutely ridiculous that is not his best move. Right, I'm gonna get one more battle to level him up one more time. That's my only real gripe with the game, it just seems like movement puts you at such a vulnerability. If not for you, then for your party members. Because every move you make refills fills the enemy's meters. And yeah, it does fill your own character's meters as well, but like, if their meter's filled... Like, if everyone's meter's filled and you gotta move around, then you're just making everyone vulnerable. It's kind of a weird, like, double-edged sword. Anyway, I think we've, we've seen all we're gonna see from this chapter, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna head, head on forward at this point. Nothing you get from that mammoth is, is worth really like holding on to. Or, I mean, it might be, but it's nothing that we need to finish the game.
Girl. Wait a fucking second here. What? Uh, uh, what? Oh my god, really? Why isn't this working? Why didn't that work? work? Holy, Holy shit. shit. Okay. okay. Test the effects. Troubleshoot something here. Mono balance left. left. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm, I'm echoing. echoing. All right, I can hear myself. Can I hear myself now? Yeah, there we go. Okay. <gasps> What's up? All right, was that working before? Because I tried using it before, and something happened with OBS, where it wasn't like picking up my mic, the 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 voice mod mic. Yeah, something broke the voice mod mic, and I had to, like, reinstate it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I have two mic sources, because I have one that's just... ...just normal. Just so I don't accidentally filter over it. It's like an extra layer of security. <laughs> Yeah, no. The fuck out of here. Yeah, no. Watch this. Yeah, I bet you didn't think I could do that. And he's scared. Blowout. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what did ne what never existed at the same time as cavemen? As we know for absolute sure. That guy would be dead. He landed right on those ribs. another good theme. This, you're going to hear this theme in every chapter. giant T-Rex named Odo. Big. Uh, no weaknesses, no resistances, 992 health. Significantly easier than the other mammoth, I believe. Big boy. Hey, Yashi. Yep. Burn Spark? Oh, maybe. So... The name kind of got messed up in translation, I think. Because it makes more sense when in the, uh... The original way it's written. Ow. She doesn't have a lot because you don't get her for too long, so I'm gonna just probably use her to sing because she buffs as well. Fist. Hurt one bad with big fist. Back kick. Attack and reaction. Turn back a many bad and hurt with big kick. Face kick. Hurt one bad with big kick. Wee butt. Hurt and push one bad with run butt. Fly lizard fly. Hurt one bad with lizard flynn. Damage high. Lizard rock back. Reaction only. Hurt back with many bad lizard friend, friend rock throw. Ugh. Guy's screaming like Link. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there we go. Good debuffs. So, okay, so, so his name is Odo, Odo, but that's, that was the, that was the reference in, uh, in the Japanese version, or rather the fan translate, I don't know, actually, I think in the fan, the Japanese version, they list it properly, too, it's not pronounced Odo, it's pronounced O-D-O, like, that's the way it's supposed to be pronounced. 
Medium. Do I have any high damage? No. ODO, yeah. seems kind of random. Well, no, because, alright, because Odio, Odio, Odious, it means evil, like malicious. And the reason that's important, you'll see why that's important later. You'll see why that is very, that the naming scheme is very important. You can use the fertility idol without equipping it, which is nice. Probably jumped in God Sarge as an attack, yeah. First time, last time I streamed this, when I streamed the original, that fight, I believe at the end the monkey was the only one still alive at the end of that. I lost everyone super quick. about the hidden boss, but whatever. It's not super important to defeat it. It's level 60. Wow. to be deleted. Anyway, remember that flower field that Pogo kept dreaming of? Here you go. And also, Zaki's now our ally. He gets, he gets a he gets his reward for helping. He gets to be the new head of the, the uh 
He gets to be the new head of the tribe. Yeah, Megumi Ogata was the goat here. Absolutely. She's been King's voice actor ever since she had one in, ever since she had one in the SNK games. Nice. Piece, and now they're. That's a. I'm guessing that's a big piece of uh, Odo's body. maybe yeah Oh, the, the Gold Mammoth is apparently the strongest boss in the entire game. He just got fucked. In the fan translation, uh, he says he says the word love, which I think I think that kind of was the translation because they said I, and I think that I think that was supposed to be him saying love in Japanese. I think they I think they messed up the translation there. Oh dear. Oh dear. The jukebox has been unlocked. Additional songs have been added to the jukebox. Additional entries have been added to gameplay tips. Complete. In progress. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. In progress. Level 10 pogo. Load game and continue chapter. How does this work? Can you imagine this on the SNES? I can, because I played it on the SNES. Oh, you start from here! So I could go and fight the boss if I want to. Maybe I'll do that in my spare time. Maybe I'll grind. I mean, like, if they localized it. True. Did I level up at all? No, I didn't. None of that carrot, none of that mattered. How do I actually get back in uh, the menu here? Turn to chapter select. Unsaved progress will be lost. Okay, so I could come back to that. So, we, so we might, we might see the end. We might finally see me take down that gold mammoth later. If I decide to grind off stream. Now he's like grayed out. Like the purple hair guy that in the back is a purple hair guy. You like him? Yes, that'll be the one I'm doing third. Next one I'll be doing is Imperial China, because timeline-wise, that's about how it takes place. Uh, Pogo, 
Imperial China, because that's from... I don't know when exactly this is supposed to take place, but, like, Imperial China lasted from, like, t I think early, late BC to, like, 1920. So, there's a lot of, a big gap here. Twilight of Edo Japan means it has to be the end of the Edo area, so it would be the 1860s. Um, then you have the Wild West, which has to be between 1860 and 1890. Uh, then you have the modern day, where's Masaru, which is 2000, 1990s. Uh, Akita in the near future, and then Cube in the distant future. And those, that'll be, I'm doing them in chronological order, so these two, these two will be the last two I do. So yeah, next next time, Imperial China. This is that's one of the easier chapters if I remember correctly. So it's gonna be a fun time. And then this ball buster of a chapter. This chapter is one of the hardest, as a, in comparison. Honestly, it's honestly Pogo's was probably the the hardest overall, but it seemed a lot easier this time. So maybe I'm just maybe it's just because I knew what to do. Who knows? Who can really say? Environmental sounds. Was that? Okay, another yeah, four options before. Jukebox. Nice, so it just unlocks every song you've heard. I'm guessing as you unlock more character or beat more characters, they show up here as well. You could read the. Uh, you could read all the things here if you want. Really want to, since the loading screens are so damn quick. But I think um, I think I'm gonna have to stop here. Even though I would love to to keep going for like another 15, 30 minutes, I don't want to start another chapter if it's gonna be like a 15 minute like thing of that chapter. But yeah, that was that was really good. That was really good outside of the outside of the hidden boss wrecking me, which. Isn't going to be an issue if I could grind if I could grind off stream for it now. I don't think you could do that in the original. In the original, once you beat a chapter, you either restarted it or you just moved on. But cool, cool. This uh, this remake is turning out to be very good so far, outside of a few weird translation issues with that first chapter, which I, I don't mind that much. But it's definitely I, I could definitely see where where they messed it up, and I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. But hey, this is really fun. Uh, tomorrow, Imperial China, uh, and maybe more, who knows. Uh, and then at some other point this week, a third stream of the game, where I do more of it. <laughs> and if I... well, actually, sorry. Ugh, getting ahead of myself here. At least one more stream of this this week, if not two, and one stream of Octo Expansion as well, to, to hopefully plow through more of that. That's probably going to take like three or four streams, because I found out you do in fact need to do all Lady Missions in it to, to get the real ending. So that'll be another uh, that'll be another stream. I'll do at least one of those and at least one more Live Alive. If I can get another stream out, it'll be another Live Alive stream. Uh, Friday will be no stream, and then Saturday afternoon, me and Nessie are going to stream uh, Andy's Apple Farm for her birthday. And uh, looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. Fun and certainly not at all terrifying or anything. If you want to watch more streams, uh, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandoned. Plenty of people streaming there right now. My auto host will probably take it to someone after I'm done. Maybe leave Flint because he streamed for a week straight because God knows that guy is an amazing streamer. Um, but yeah, just stick around uh, or follow other people. I don't know. Do whatever you want. I'm, I'm not your mother. <laughs> or am I? Uh, but thank you. Thank you all for coming. You all have a great night. I will see you tomorrow because I am absolutely in the mood to keep going here. Good night. <laughs>